just go win the football game, go execute a drive that we practice every day before practice, which is a two-minute drive. We do it every day, different situations. Um, I assume over all the practices we've had that exact situation or something very similar to it. So just go out, execute the offense, and go win a game. I mean, you enjoy it when it's an outcome like this, right? Um, I mean, I enjoy being on the field any play, no matter what play it is. So I'm just trying to enjoy it. Did you uh, say anything to your teammates in the huddle before that drive? Let's go win the game. It's on us, on the offense. Did you know you were going to have a big role this week with your legs? I mean, was that something more at halftime that they kind of talked about? Yeah, I mean, it's always in every game plan every week. It's just how much we utilize it. It depends on what the defense is doing. Um, and it just so happened to come up in the second half. Did you have fireworks go off for a non-touchdown? I'm not going to lie. That was the first time. I was like, I was on the verge of celebrating, on the verge of not. I was like, mm. <laughs> wasn't a touchdown, but we got we got to stay in. The guy who launched the fireworks thought it was a touchdown. He, he yeah, said I appreciate more. it for that. I appreciate the <clears throat> the belief. Yeah, so uh, they played a good defense to it. Just scramble drill, something that we've emphasized a lot, honestly, this week in practice especially. Um, and he made a great play, great catch, touchdown. So what, what did you say to him or did Saquon say to you after the fumble? That he's all good, always. Like, I believe in him. You know, same thing happens if I turn the ball over. He's the first one to come up to me, so... When something in that situation happened the way it did, I was the first one to go up to him, tell him we're good, flush it, we're going to go win the game. That's kind of a reversal of roles, though, for a, you know, basically the face of the franchise and a, still a rookie quarterback. Yeah, we have, a, we have a high level of respect for each other, so we don't think of it as anything like that. But that's how it is. Just continuing to fight. I think in every game we've played this year that we showed that we never gave up on any snap, no matter what the score was. Never looked up at the scoreboard, just kept on fighting each and every play, each and every game. And... You know, it's starting to come to fruition with some of these games in the past now, and uh, I'm just going to keep trying to go 1 0 each week. I mean, at first, I didn't really know what happened. The reaction was, oh, this dude's running with the ball. They didn't blow the whistle. We got to get him down. So that was the first thing. And then after, I mean, stuff happens in games. On to the next play. Whether it's been me in the past throwing an interception, he's the first one there to tell me the next play. I believe in you. So I was right there doing the same thing with him. You said the same thing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the O line did a really good job. Um, I mean, that's all I really was. They did a great job. Lanes opened up, and I took advantage of them when they were there. But testament to those guys holding that D-line to that. I know it's been a focus of you, you know, avoiding sacks, you know, avoiding the negative plays. Do you think you did a better job with that today? Obviously, you weren't sacked. I was going to say, yeah, I'd say it went pretty well today with no sacks, right? I wish we could do that every week. I'm going to strive to do that every week, but I know that's not the reality at always. But, um, yeah, just trying to get better on some little things each and every week, try to clean up things during the week in practice, watching film, and, Look forward to see what this game had for me to work on. Does first fourth quarter comeback mean something to you? Um, I guess it might just something. I don't know. Not really to me, honestly. It's just football. Try to go score every drive, but especially in that situation, like I said before, it was something that we practice day in and day out. So to be able to execute that in game uh, was positive. What was your reaction right after the field goal? One. Oh, I was standing next to Dave's. Yeah. We were. Uh, at first, I don't know if you wanted me saying this, but at first he wasn't going to look. And then he was like, I'm going to look. I was like, all right. So we stood right next to each other. And it was just, as soon as we saw it going, just pure excitement. I grabbed him, hugged him, told him I loved him, and celebrated with my teammates. Yeah, of course. I think as a quarterback, you have to stay even keel through it all, you know, because when you're winning like we are now, everything is high. And when you lose, everything is low. So as a quarterback, you have to be able to stay even through it all. So um, I take pride in that. Something that I've grown over, obviously, over time from when I was playing, from when I was five, throughout high school and college, just continuing to to grow that part of my game. When you look at the standings, and I don't know if you have or you haven't, but I mean, you, you guys are one game out of a playoff spot. Is that something that, that strikes a chord with this team? Um, it does. I mean, Say said it the other day, that you know everything we want is in front of us, but at the end of the day, it's 1-0 each week. Obviously, it sounds like a very coach's thing to say, like 1-0, only focus on the week, but that's truly what it is, because if you look too far ahead, you'll get got, and we're just continuing day in and day out, staying through this process.